Hello and welcome to 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah al -Fatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Decrees 23, 24 and 25 of 2017. First Decree 23 of 2017 stipulated the amending of some provisions of the Executive Code of Law 32 of 2010 regarding the Statement of Disclosure of the Financial Position issued by Decree 82 2012. Second, Decree No. 24 of 2017 stipulated the amending of some provisions of Decree No. 9 of 2007 regarding the restructuring of the Ministry of Finance by creating a directorate called the Directorate of Public Revenue Policy and cancelling the Directorate of Economic Studies and Research. Third, Decree No. 25 of 2017 stipulated the restructuring of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Polytechnic under the chairmanship of Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa and the following members. Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Asiri, Adil Haj Ibrahim, Hassan Salah Slaybikh, Mohammed Ahmed Mohammed Hassan, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, Hussein Ali Al Hussaini, Amina Ahmed Rashid Al Ramehi, and Dr. Sadiq Mahdi Al Alawi. The duration of their membership will be for four years. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace City the President of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Katirov, and his accompanying delegation who are currently on an official visit to the kingdom. Also present at the meeting was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Upon the arrival of the Chechen president, two rows of honor guards paid tribute. His Majesty the King held a round of talks with the Chechen President. Then His Majesty greeted the members of the Chechen delegation while President Kadyrov greeted senior officials from the Bahraini side. President Kadyrov expressed his thanks to His Majesty the King for the generous hospitality he and his accompanying delegation have received. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's keenness to bolster mutual cooperation between the two countries in ways that would benefit both nations. His Majesty also expressed his optimism that this visit shall contribute to the build-up of cultural communication in addition to pave ways to bilateral economic cooperation. His Majesty the King hailed the role of President Kadyrov and his efforts to develop the Chechen Republic 
Republic and preserve its security and stability. The meeting also discussed the latest regional and international developments as well as issues that concern the Islamic nation and a number of mutual interest topics. For his part, the judge and president asserted his country's keen interest to strengthen bilateral ties in all fields that would positively reflect for both countries. He praised the achievements of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the development it continues to witness under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. He also stated that Russian President Vladimir Putin thanks, uh, thinks highly of His Majesty the King, wishing the people of Bahrain further advancement and prosperity. His Majesty the King hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the Chechen President and his accompanying delegation. President Ramzan Kadyrov has arrived to the kingdom earlier today where he was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad, the son of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated today the 25th Annual Heritage Festival at Bahrain Fort, organized by the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA. This year's Annual Heritage Festival, titled Springs Tales, focuses on the theme of Bahrain's natural water springs. His Highness Sheikh Isa expressed pleasure in inaugurating the event on behalf of His Majesty the King. His Highness praised His Majesty's patronage and support, adding that it has contributed to making the festival an important cultural and educational event within Bahrain and the GCC. He noted that the festival celebrates Bahrain's rich identity and heritage, which is unique within the history of the Gulf. His Highness congratulated the President of BACA, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, on the continued success of the festival, which has received a strong public turnout each year. He praised the festival's role in strengthening national pride and the Bahraini sense of identity, adding that the festival helps from links between younger generations and Bahrain's cultural heritage. He went on to acknowledge that the festival's theme, Springs Tales, highlights the kingdom's long-standing relationship to its natural springs, which form a key element of Bahrain's natural and cultural identity. He noted that the festival's celebration of Bahrain's Bahrain's histor historic lifestyle is reflected by the artistic work and folk crafts on display. During the event's inauguration, His Highness toured the festival, viewed various activities and the traditional souk. Sheikh Hamay expressed gratitude to His Majesty's continued commitment to supporting and showcasing Bahrain's cultural heritage. She added that His Majesty's annual patronage of the festival demonstrates his vision and commitment to promoting Bahrain's heritage and cultural infrastructure. She further expressed her gratitude to His Highness Sheikh Isa for his inauguration of the festival on behalf of His Majesty the King. She noted that the festival is listed under the UNESCO World Heritage List. She went on to add that Bahrain's 1,000-year-old history underpins a unique identity that all citizens should be proud of. She expressed her gratitude to the public and private sponsors of the festival, adding that the 25th Annual Heritage Festival takes place in line with the BACA. 2017 program of activities under the slogan Our Year of Archaeology. 
Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council of Health, inaugurated the second annual Infectious Disease Conference today in the presence of the Minister of Health, Ms. Sifaiqa bin Saleh Al Saleh, the Commander of Royal Medical Services, Professor Major General Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, and many health special specialists. More on this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Infectious diseases continue to pose substantial challenges to public health, and certainly much efforts and advances are required for their prevention and control. With participants from around the region and further focused on learning about global trends in emerging infectious diseases and its advances in therapeutic and diagnostic fields. The annual Infectious Diseases Conference organized for the second time in Bahrain provides a great opportunity for the exchange of scientific advances, research statistics and diagnostic techniques. 500 people are participating, attendants in the, uh, in the conference. Uh, we have around 20, more than 20 speakers. They are international speakers. We have from regional speakers and from local speakers in Bahrain. Most of these ex uh, speakers, they have different backgrounds that they are specialized in one of the topics that we are discussing. Uh, we hope that this conference actually will really uh, put the platform for discussion, for exchange of experience, for exchange of information, and putting a plan and suggestion recommendation for the future, how we can um, shape or change the way we are practicing for the best, if there is anything to improve or to change. The two-day event includes a unique blend of up-to-date scientific presentations and workshops concerned with the most recent therapeutic techniques and development, novel technologies and measures incorporating latest evidence and clinical practice, delivered by well-known speakers and multidisciplinary professionals. I'm giving two talks at this lovely conference. I was here last year. The first is how to preserve antibiotics in the community, how to help the general practitioners, uh, to reduce antibiotic prescription among the people of Bahrain, of the Gulf and in the Middle East generally. And then the second talk I'm going to give a highlight of the role of pharmacists and of nurses in how they can um, assist in reducing the overall antibiotic consumption and resistance. I'll be talking today about HIV update. Lots of things happened in 2016. The new data on emerging uh, epidemiology, new data on how to treat, what to treat with, and also on prevention. The conference encompassed all the infectious diseases topics, paying special attention to the challenges of the region, including the common diseases, antimicrobial resistance, and the excessive misuse of antibiotics. Since 2000, we've been facing uh, with a variety of infections. It comes from H1N1 to MERS, COVID to SARS. So we need to have a strategic plan in how to fight those infections before it happened in Bahrain. And uh, certainly with the coronavirus uh, in the neighborhood in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we wanted to learn, to learn more from them in how to engage all the facility that we have in Bahrain in fighting this deadly virus. This wide range of health specialists from different countries, all united to share their valuable experiences and striving to learn more, can give nothing but a positive outlook. Emerging infectious diseases are a significant burden on global economies and public health. That's why it's crucial to promote effective strategies for their prevention, diagnosis and management. The second annual infectious diseases conference held today is a great opportunity for close exchange, communication and experience. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul -Rafur. The Housing Minister Engineer Basim Yagoub al Hamar expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his unlimited support to the housing sector, in which it led for a great number of housing achievements. He also praised the contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the sector. And that comes after the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to distribute. 4,200 housing units across the kingdom under the wise direction of His Majesty the King to distribute housing units to beneficiaries. Al Hamar said that the ministry began preparations to schedule the distributions and the projects that will be included in the plan, affirming the ministry's keenness to commit to the schedule it will set. He pointed out that His Royal Highness's order comes to continue completing the previous phases, where His Royal Highness the Crown Prince ordered to distribute 
6,200 units in which it contributed to reducing waiting lists and meet the large number of applications across the governorates. He said that the unit's distribution comes under the government's keenness to provide 25,000 housing units in order to provide high living standards for the people of Bahrain. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,350.52 points, marking an increase of 1.98 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, services, and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 46% of total shares. 144 transactions included 7,691,302 shares worth 1,770,341 Bahraini dinars.